If you're looking for the best sound cards, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have Creative Labs SB0570L4 RDG SE sound card. What we have here is an outstanding 7.1 channel PCI sound card that doesn't skimp on features despite its affordable price. This card offers a 100 decibel single to noise ratio as well as full 24 bit sound reproduction. You're also getting EAX Advanced HD Audio's effects for top notch sound enhancement, which also provides full 3D positional audio reproduction when used with multi channel speakers. Additionally, the card offers smart volume management, bass boost, and audio cleanup capabilities. The downside to this selection is that some users may not have a free PCI slot in their computer, so make sure you have the required space available before purchasing. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Creative Sound Blaster X7. Sitting on your desk, the Creative Sound Blaster X7 looks like some sort of Egyptian monument, or perhaps a leftover prop from the Battlestar Galactica. But it's Creative's oddballs to take on an external sound card, a USB connected desktop DAC and amplifier. But over $350? Could it possibly worth the price? Well, for starters, you do get the benefit of not having to crack open your PC and installing an expansion card. Moreover, this isn't a standard headphone amp. Like most other external sound cards, this is a 100 watt amplifier for connecting desktop speakers and that accounts for some of that steep price tag. In fact, it's something of a jack of all trades. You get amplification, Bluetooth with Bluetooth 5 app X support, RCA and optical ports, and more. There's a lot going on under the hood. This semi-pyramid is packed with a Burr Brown PCM1794 DAC and manages an SNR of 127 decibels. It can drive 600 Ohm headphones and reproduces 24-bit audio at up to 192 kHz. And with the aforementioned 1000 watts of power, it can drive not just bookshelf speakers but towers as well. It even features a 4 Ohm 8 Ohm toggle so you can get the best performance out of your speakers. There's so much that Creative got right. It's disappointing that the build quality is a little lacking. Some of the buttons don't have a solid, professional feel and the whole pyramid is light enough that it slides around when you push buttons or turn the dial. That said, there are some great features here. Like user swappable op amps and support for 5.1 channel surround. It's probably best, though if you want to stick to stereo and use this desktop box to record, such as podcasting. The number 8 position is held by Evga New Audio. The Evga New Audio may well be the newest sound card on the market. Most of the competition arrived in the scene several years ago. This is a product with a genuine 2020 birthday. It was engineered in partnership with the premium audiophile company AudioNote and has some of the highest quality audio components and best overall specs of any sound card on the market. Powered by the XMOS X-Core 200 Audio DSP and packed with an AKM AK4493 DAC, it also features an ADI OP275 OP amp for the headphones output and an Adio AD8056 OP amp for the card's lineout. The whole card is enclosed in a gorgeous aluminum shell which helps eliminate wireless interference. Overall, the system has an SNR of 123 decibels. It can accommodate headphones ranging from 16 to 600 ohms. You get 32-bit, 1-2kHz playback at 7.1 channels or as much as 384kHz in stereo. The bottom line, it's hard to beat these specs. It's also pretty. The card has RGB lighting on board. In addition to being designed to directly appeal to audiophiles, the card can also ably accommodate gamers. The card supports 7.1 channel virtual surround sound from Nahimic, 
which includes features like Smart Volume, which limits volume fluctuations in-game for true 7.1 channel support. You will want to upgrade to the new Audio Pro, which includes a 7.1 channel daughter card. Either way, you will need to draw power by connecting the card to a SATA cable. Next at number 7, we have ASUS Sonar SE. Not everyone needs a premium sound card. Sometimes, something inexpensive and simple will do. On that count, the ASUS Sonar SE actually goes above and beyond the Call of Duty. For well under $50, you get a solid audio upgrade to virtually an integrated sound chip. It has a 116dB SNR, which, while modest as audiophile gear goes, still lowers the sound floor substantially compared to the 88dB or so you'll find it on board audio for most PCs. It is also a half-height expansion card that'll have no trouble fitting in even the most crowded and compact computer cases. There's even a PCI version available for older PCs. The Sonar SE lets you set a true 5.1 surround sound system around your PC with 192kHz 24-bit audio. It also includes a 300 ohm headphone amp that favors a rich, deep bass. The accompanying Sonar Audio Center software includes an equalizer, 5.1 speaker balancing, and a selectable audio mode that's designed to improve sound in gameplay. This card doesn't bring a lot of advanced audio capabilities to the table. One downside to consider, while there are drivers available for older versions of Windows including Windows 8, some users have reported finicky installations. You might need to experiment with settings a bit to get everything up and running even on Windows 10. The number 6 position is held by Creative Sound Blaster XG1. External sound cards, an alternative to opening your POC and inserting an expansion card, are getting popular thanks to their simplicity and ease of installation. The Creative Sound Blaster XG1 is an external gadget that's aimed surely at gamers. Rather than focusing on enhanced audio quality for music, the Sound Blaster XG1 features surround sound and other gaming features. The G1 supports 7.1 channel virtual surround sound and when combined with desktop Windows Blaster X Acoustic Engine Pro software, can enhance the overall gaming experience. The software works with a slew of plugin profiles that silver custom sound experience for specific games, emphasizing aspects of the game's soundstage to make the audio more Im to make the audio more impactful and to emphasize sound cues you need to succeed in the game. There are profiles for most common games, including popular titles like Call of Duty and Dota 2. Case in point, the G1 works with Scout Mode, a feature that enhances environmental sound cues like footsteps and weapons effects to help you find nearby enemies more easily. The G1 has an SNR of 93 decibels and delivers a maximum of 24-bit, 96kHz audio. You can plug into a PC, Mac, or PS4 and while it's dirt cheap, I'd highly recommend not buying it on an impulse and at least check out the Sound Blaster XG6 first, which is also on this list and probably more appropriate for most users. The number 5 position is dominated by Audio Engine D1. You can think of the Audio Engine D1 as a sort of external sound card. More accurately, it's an external DAC, a digital to analog converter that lets you bypass the low quality sound chip or sound card in your PC or Mac to listen to high fidelity music in high fidelity. Powered by the well respected AK4396 DAC, it's a great way to amp up the sound in your PC without opening the case and installing an expansion card. In fact, setup is a snap. There is no power supply and nothing to plug into the wall, nor is there any software to install. You simply connect the D1 to your PC via USB and set it on your desktop. Then plug your headphones into the front panel and you're in business. There's even an optical input to connect a second source like a Blu-ray player or game console. The D1 includes a premium 24-bit DAC and amp that can stream bit-perfect 24x96 HD audio up to 192kHz. And if you want to, you can connect the DAC to external powered speakers via RCA output in the back. It doesn't have any sort of surround sound capabilities, virtual or otherwise, 
but the steep outburst is formidable. Moving on to the next at number 4 with Sound Blaster ZXR. An evolution of the older Sound Blaster Z, the new Sound Blaster ZXR is a formidable sound card. The Sound Blaster ZXR looks like a super high-end expansion card clad in heavy-duty aluminum and finished in a stunning black and red color scheme. It's driven with a Soundcore 3D processor and has a massive 124 decibel SNR, about 90 times better than the audio pumped out by your average PC motherboard. And putting the noise floor well below anything, you'd be able to detect without risking hearing damage. In operation, you get 24-bit, 192kHz audio and the card has 5.1 channels of surround support. Unfortunately, like a handful of other high-end audio cards, this one eats up a pair of slots in your PC because it too has a main card and a daughter card that adds a set of optical inputs and outputs as well as a pair of RCA inputs. The good news is that the daughter board doesn't really need a PCIe slot. It doesn't plug into anything except the main Sound Blaster card, but you will need a spare slot of some sort to locate it. In operation, you get 24-bit, 192kHz audio in store and 5.1 channel surround support. The TPA 6120A2 op amp is fully user replaceable if you want to swap it out for a different operational amplifier. This card also comes with a desktop breakout box, an audio control module that has inputs, outputs and a master volume control. And as you would expect, the ZXR comes with Sound Blaster desktop software which gives you multiple profiles for music, gaming and movies with specific profiles per game. Scout mode accentuates audio in-game to allow you to hear footsteps, dialogue and weapons handling. The number 3 position is held by Creative Sound Blaster AE7. What do you get when you take the Sound Blaster AR5, upgraded with slightly better internals and remove the RGB lighting? You get the slightly more mature looking Creative Sound Blaster AE7. In fact, the AE7 looks a lot like the AE5, but has the ESS Sabre Class 9018 DAC, which inches up to the SNR 127 decibels. Other specs remain the same. It can play audio at up to 32 bit, 384 kHz, and it has independent amplifiers for the left and right channels. You can connect studio grade headphones up to 600 ohms to this sound card. That said, it has a few welcome improvements. The aforementioned DAC, for example, along with support for Dolby DTS and Dolby Digital Live using the discrete 5.1 channel outputs. The AE7 also adds 384 kHz PCM and DSD64 playback. There's also support for 7.1 channel virtual surround sound. The system works with the usual Sound Blaster command software, which comes with audio profiles for music, movies, and games. There are specific profiles for many popular games along with scout mode, which, if you use it, emphasizes environmental audio cues like footsteps and dialogue in-game. The AE7 also comes with a desktop breakout box. This audio command center has inputs and outputs for your mic and headphones, so you don't need to reach around the back of the PC and an enormous volume dial. Next at number 2 we have AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. An inevitable question when considering external DACs is how small can they be made? The answer in the case of the AudioQuest Dragonfly is about the size of a USB flash drive. The AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt is the latest in the Dragonfly series and it is an external sound card that drives a pair of headphones with a premium quality DAC, the ESS ES 9038Q2M DAC. Compared to the older Dragonflies, the Cobalt features a significantly upgraded DAC and a fast processor that draws less power. The Cobalt handles up to 24-bit 96kHz audio and AudioQuest says the new architecture makes the unit more immune to interference from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other wireless noise such as cellular. Not only is the Dragonfly Cobalt designed for use with your PC, but it's compatible with mobile devices like iPhones and Android devices as well. You will need a lighting to USB or micro USB to USB adapter to plug it in your phone. Once you do, though you will find a night and day difference in audio quality that is absolutely unmistakable. Finally, the number one position is dominated by Sound Blaster X G6. The Sound Blaster X G6 is an external sound card that's a lot more like what the Sound Blaster X G1 wants to be when it grows up. This G6, like all external sound cards, is essentially a DAC 
that you plug into your PC's USB port. But unlike models like the G1, the G6 has an elegant upscale look including a gorgeous knurled dial that's reminiscent of the kind of control you'll find on high-end audio gear surrounded by a softly glowing RGB light. The dial lets you switch between and control both the master audio volume and microphone input. Appearance aside, though the G6 is a formidable audio product, it has an impressive 130dB SNR with 32-bit, 384kHz sound reproduction. It also features a full 7.1 channels of virtual surround sound and includes two independent amplifiers. This lets the G6 drive sound levels in each ear completely differently. Great for music, but even better in games, where the left and right channels might have very different soundscapes to render at any given moment. The Sound Blaster Connect desktop software has unique profiles for common games and includes Creative's excellent scout mode, which emphasizes dialogue, environmental sounds, and directional cues to help you zero in on enemies and stay on top of the action. It costs several times as much as Sound Blaster's Xs G1, but it's well worth the money. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.